Good morning from the home of British Motorsport. This is Silverstone, a circuit with wonderful and illustrious history dating all the way back to 1943. Bad luck for Harry Anto in qualifying, great luck with that penalty for Roland. He finds himself on pole now. Then it's Yellily, Marcello, who was on pole last year, so he knows his way around this racetrack. Then it's Lynn and Gasly, the inseparable pair of Dams drivers. Then Van Dorn, the championship leader. Rossi and our race winner yesterday, Sorokin, in eighth. Lights and Silverstone. And now we're racing with a decent start for Harry Anto, but a bad one for Yellily. And Lynn is straight past up into third. Marcello up into second position, so it's not worked again. Off the start for Yellily as they make their way through turn number two. This is farm, and Harry Anto has maintained the lead as Gasly gets around the outside of his teammate up into third position. They were very close together on the grid. They've always seemed to be on the same part of the racetrack, and it's Gasly who makes his way through into third place. Lynn down to fourth. He'll come back at him, and Yellily, the fellow Brit, trying to recover from a poor start as they head down to Brooklands. Yellily having a little look at the inside, but it's not possible there. He's the big loser from the start, second down to fifth. As we watch the start on board with Jordan King, straight past Andre Negrel in the blink of an eye, then straight past Arta Peak as well. What a mammoth start going around the outside and making up a lot of places. King starting well at the back. He started 22nd, he's already up to 15th, so fantastic start for Jordan. A man on a mission, he said it was soul-destroying to have his race brought to a close at the final corner. He was eliminated after that contact with Peak. So here we see on board with Lynn in a minute, his teammate about to appear. There he is. Yeah, down he, just, he got well out of the throttle in turn one. He's just got to keep a little bit more through there. The tyres are cold. Lynn not completely sure on the grip level, and Gasly just taking a few more chances around the outside. This is the contact between Nato and Canamassas that will surely earn Nato a penalty, and he's accrued a lot of them, hasn't he, in the early part no, of this you, season? You know what? I think Canamassas spun it on his own. I don't think Nato actually touched him. It's only there, there, where the front wing damage happens. I think Canamassas is short. Sure who is challenging him? It's another MP car, is it? So it's De Jong ahead of him, and Roland just behind Van Dorn at the moment, as Canamassas tries down the inside of Nato into Stowe. Very tight between the pair of them, but he's improved at the moment. Giacotto trying to come back through very tight indeed on this, the opening lap of the race. Nato for the moment and a spin for Johnny. And it's not Johnny Giacotto, it's Sergio Canna Massas who spun round. Three seconds. And lead. so he's made We've got move. a move at the very back of the field. Down the inside, it's Markalov. Lockups all over the place. Pete trying to make his way through. That's Evans racing Matsushita and now we've got Alex Lynn under pressure from Alexander Rossi we saw such good overtaking yesterday he can't have made it round the outside surely surely not that would be absolutely astonishing we'll have to see that again but what a move from Alexander Rossi Rossi with real balls to do that I'm not sure if he went all four wheels on the outside though it, it definitely will be close I'm sure Lynn gave him a big as it squeeze. gets in a grey area so we'll see what their decision is, but I can imagine Alexander Rossi will be fuming if he's forced to give that place back. Yeah, it was a, it was a fantastic move. Jordan King, another one up the inside. Absolutely brilliant from Jordan King. He has really got the bit so between his teeth the move. now. He has the DRS advantage as well. De Jong, though, with seemingly good straight line speed to come back at him, but that's the move complete for the championship leader. And he will now try and get after Sergei Sorokin, the man who beat him yesterday. Yeah, so that's a move Van Dorn had to make there. He's much quicker than De Jong. And we go on board with him. Nice apex at turn three. He knows where he's going to go and just an easy one up the inside of turn four. De Jong early on so the So this is why he has a penalty. Their drivers were warned about this exact turn. Do not put all four wheels off the racetrack. The racetrack is delineated by the white. We're not going to see a replay of that. We're going to see a replay of another move for Jordan King. He is on fire today. The British driver on home soil, throwing it down the inside of Leal. Let's go on board with him to see the move. He gets the advantage of DRS. He's already deployed it from the paddle on the left of his steering wheel. But that is super but late on the brakes. What about that? How far back he was he? Saw he's on screen. Now, is he going to try it again? Oh, my word. This is absolutely magnificent from Jordan King. Oh, giacotto has got him back at the moment, but he'll have the inside line for Luffield. They're so close, separated by nothing. Now they get to the traction zone coming out. He gets the squeeze from Giacotto, but he's got the momentum going into Woodcote. He's got the inside line that is oh so crucial for Cops. 
How's this one going to play out? He's got the position. Absolutely superb from Jordan King, who now finds himself in 11th place, having started 22nd. There's nothing you can do at that part of the track. A big moment and indeed a spin for Johnny Giacotto, making his debut with Carlin this weekend, the hugely experienced driver. Think I have a puncture, I think I have a puncture. And that's where he puts him down below Van Dorn at the moment. I've read the wrong interval. That was the interval to the front. We see side by side Negrau and Markalov off the racetrack, close racing all the way through the field. We see it once again. Markalov trying to go around the outside. Contact between the front wheel of Markalov and the front wing of Negrau there. And you're quite right. It's not the rosy picture I painted a moment ago for Rossi as Negrau warned about either his contact there or going off the racetrack. At the moment, Rossi is dropping from T. He's going to get a penalty. Yeah, but he was already ahead there. That's not going to be a penalty at all, that. But it's, it's really painful to watch because Yellily's so quick through through Luffield. Every time getting a huge run, here we go, DRS open. So he's got the overspeed. Can he make it round the outside? It'll still have to be a very bold move for Yellily, and he still can't get it done despite being in close proximity. And look how much Sorokin has managed as Ling goes to the defensive and Sorokin has to pick a side. He's trying to make the move on Yellily. He might be about to make through. Sorokin's going to pass one of them. Is he going to pass both of them? And Yellily couldn't get the move done. And now he's paid the price as Sorokin goes past. And now it's Sorokin putting huge pressure on Alex Lin for fifth place in this They're race. Really, really tight through turn three and four. He'll have the DRS. Van Dorn won't, and he might be able to have a run down into uh, to turn six up the inside. He's going to try down the inside. Is it going to work? It is. What a move for Oliver Rowland to take away eighth position. And the 3.5 series leader is past the GP2 championship leader. And on this, a one-off outing in the two rounds, Rowland has really distinguished himself. What a move that was. Fantastic. It's just commitment from Rowland. We've seen it in the high-speed corners. We've seen it in about the last 10 laps when we've been watching him. Van Dorn's lost a lot of time now as well. But he just, he, this move I think is a little bit scripted. He knows that Van Dorn's going to give him a chance. Van Dorn has to prepare the exit of turn four because there's a long straight after it. Roland just jumps on the power. You see the back end there just having a little squirm as he goes for it. Up the inside, full commitment, forces Van Dorn wide. That is your top four move. in fifth position, Alex Lynn. The final points positions have brought us all the entertainment in this second race of the GP2 weekend. Yelly trying the alternative line once again. Lin very, very slow through Luffield, must be struggling. And now Yelly going down the inside. Suddenly he's got the move completed after spending so long trying to make the move. He has the inside line into Cops. Does he have? the commitment he does and he takes the position back that he lost three laps ago Yellily now still has the opportunity to pass Alex Lin in this race five After seconds six tenths that last lap Lin's got no rear grip huge slide in the high speed I think his bigger concern now is going to be keeping Yellily behind oh look at the move there by Oliver Rowland steaming down the inside of Sergei Sorokin as Yellily trying the alternate line Lin really with not the grip he needs at this stage of the race and it's surely going to allow Yellily to close up and finally make the move on this the last lap here at Silverstone he's got the DRS is this finally the time down into Brooklyn he's gonna to have to go round the outside of him can he keep his foot in Lin decides to go to the inside. Look at the twitch he's got. And still, Yellily can't get the job done. He's repelled the attack, but this time, Yellily has the commitment and he's passed him already before they've even got to Woodcote. Lin has just got no rear tyres left at all. Yellily's going to have to defend it back. But he could go inside or outside. It didn't matter in the end. And finally, 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 he has spent all race trying to achieve that position. And now Nick Yellily finds himself in the fifth place he would have wanted so badly as Oliver Rowland is all over the back of Lynn on uh, there are hardly any corners to go and Sorokin now has a run on Oliver Rowland pass or be passed at the very end Harry Anto is coming up to win the race but we're focusing on this Sorokin trying to get past after being passed at the start of this lap and it's going to go right to the final corner this because of the rear grip issues that Alex Lynn has Rio Harry Anto wins his third race of the, silver, uh, the season at Silverstone a lock up for Alex Lynn and Sorokin's going to go down the inside. Are we going to see contact? Super tight. Roland's going to hang on in the background there. 
Lynn holds on for sixth. Seventh is Oliver Rowland. Eighth, Sergei Sorokin and Jordan King storming drive. Finished just shy of Stoffel van Dorn. He Once finished again, tenth. Probably is just reward. Great moves early on and he managed to make the five seconds up. Rio Harrianto has won the sprint race here at Silverstone ahead of Raffaele Marcello. Then it's Pierre Gasly with only second podium of the season. Rossi pulled out the gap he needed. He's in fourth place. Then it's Yellily finally made the move on the last lap ahead of Alex Lynn. Really strong stuff from Oliver Rowland in his debut round of the GP2 Championship. Then Sorokin, Van Dorn, King with a brilliant drive. And then we saw Viso Yu and Liel. Stanaway was 13th, then Markalov, Nagrau, Artipik, a miserable weekend for him in the end. A return for.